À tous de DDO, attention pour moins d'une minute. Top, à Jérôme, une minute. And we are one minute to launch. Our best wishes to all the teams, to the Mohammed 6B satellite teams and the Kingdom of Morocco, to the Industrial Consortium, led by Talisalenia Space and Airbus, and to the teams on the ground waiting to take charge of their satellite. Good luck, everyone. Let's sit back and watch. À tous de DDO, attention pour les décomptes finales. Dix, neuf, huit, sept, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un, top. Allumage P80, décollage. La propulsion est nominale. Acquisition de la télémesure par la station de Saint-Jean. They are off. The Mohammed 6B satellite is on its way. It started its journey. Vega, flight number 13, blazing a trail across the equatorial skies over the Guiana Space Center. He's telling us that everything on board is going according to plan. Right now, Vega is pushing itself away from the pull of our, gravi of our uh, Earth. Gravity makes us stick to our planet, but it also makes it hard to leave. And we need an awful lot of firepower to do that. La propulsion est nominale. Getting deeper and deeper into space. We're burning the engine on the P-80, the first stage. Separation P-80. And we saw it burn out there and separate. We actually Allumage saw that with our own eyes. And we had that confirmed by the range operations manager, who has also confirmed that we've now switched on the next engine, the Z-23. Z-4 Zafiro, an Italian wind, type of wind rather like the Sirocco or the Mistral. 23, because it burns 23 tons of propellant. Our altitude on the bottom left, he's telling us everything's going normally. Altitude, we are 83 kilometers above the Earth. Can you see it there? And our speed on the bottom right is three kilometers per second. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's fast and we will be going faster. Our trajectory on the top right-hand side is the planned trajectory. The curve is a simulated curve, and the cross is the actual position of the launch vehicle. We've gone above the 100 kilometer mark above our planet. That means we're now entering space. That's the border with space. And if you look at our image on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see that nose of the vehicle that we were talking about earlier. That is the fairing, we call it, protecting the satellite from the rigors of the launch. This is the scheduled, scheduled moment and indeed confirmation that the Z-23 stage has now burnt out 
and had been jettisoned. Z9. And we've switched on the Z9. Largage de la coiffe. And we have jettisoned the fairing. We don't need it anymore. We are in space. There's hardly any friction. And we can see our satellite for the first time. There it is on the right side of the rocket, the gold structure. It's all folded up for now. And later it will, it'll unfold its solar panels once it's separated, just like a butterfly emerging from a chrysalis and unfolding its wings. So we've begun the orientation phase. You can see on the right-hand side of your screen the image of the launcher twisting a little. That's because the AVOM upper stage has to release the satellite onto a very precise orbit. Right now, it's orientating itself, putting itself into the correct position to separate the satellite later. We're also entering a, a barbecue phase, which basically means that we rotate on a spit, just like on a barbecue. And that's to maintain the temperatures evenly because, of course, we have the hot sun on one side and cold space on the other. Now, the Avon upper stage is due to switch its engine on again in about 35 minutes' time for a second burn, so we're going to take a break uh, for roughly 20 minutes. During that time, we will have a planned gap in visibility of the ground stations. That means that we will go out of the range of the ground stations for a while. The St. Hubert tracking station is scheduled to lose Vega's signal at about uh, in about two minutes' time. And then we plan to pick it up again at the station in New Norcia in Australia about 31 minutes later. Acquisition de la télémesure lanceur pour la station de New Norcia en Australie. So the range operations manager has confirmed that we've picked up the signal and, uh, in New Norcia, and they're sending the information to these teams here at the immediate visual control centre who are tracking and monitoring the flight in real time and also using the information to make an evaluation after the flight to see how it went. He's telling us that everything's going according to plan on board, and you can see our uh, flight data on the bottom of the screen, ha screen has returned. And, of course, now Vega should be sending all of that information that it stored during its gap in telemetry uh, to the New Norcia station. And then, of course, New Norcia sends that here to the CVI. Can you see Vega turning... Now, these are... Manoeuvre d'orientation avant le deuxième allumage de la VOOM. Now, he's telling us that this is the orientation manoeuvre before the second burn of the AVOM upper stage. These are CGI images, computer-generated images. The experts put a lot of information into the computer, and these are a simulation of what's happening in space, giving us an idea of what it looks like. Even getting ready to switch its engine back on, it has to circularize its orbit. At the moment, it's on an elliptical orbit. That means it's the shape of a, an egg, an oval. Deuxième and, image de la VOOM. And he's confirmed that we've switched the engine back on, so now we need to turn that orbit into a circle, and we need a little bit of power to do that. The AVOM upper stage the is... Nominal. It's all going well, all going according to plan. It's the clever part of the launcher, the smart stage. Les its job is to deliver the satellite to a specific orbit, and it's designed to inject different payloads into different orbits. The upper module contains the avionics. That's the sort of thing you find on aeroplanes. Flight control systems, navigation, communications, that kind of thing. 
Then the lower module is the propulsion module. It has four tanks containing two types of liquid propellant. La propulsion est nominal. And the propulsion is normal. The engine can switch on and off up to 20 times. And the satellite's attached using a special dispenser. It's developed by a Ukrainian company called Yushnoye. Interestingly, when it crosses the border to Italy, where it's integrated by, by the Italian company Avio, it becomes Italian. So we have the second engine shutdown of the Avum upper stage. So we are now on our orbit. Altitude 611 kilometers. Our distance, 17, nearly 18,000 kilometers, is our distance if you were to draw a straight line across the Earth from the launch pad to the position where the launcher is now over the Earth. And our speed, 7.64 kilometers per second. The Avum upper stage is now in what some people like to call the space ballet. It's getting ready to release the satellite and it has to go through a very precise, very carefully planned set of maneuvers. Everything's going well. We need to orientate the satellite correctly so that we can set it on the right path. Top right hand side, you can see how we climbed initially very steeply into space. Then we plateaued out a little bit so that we could pick up speed and then start going higher and higher into space. And we're now at 612 kilometers above our Earth. The upper stage uses some nozzles to and we have confirmation of the separation of the satellite, the Mohammed 6B satellite. Bing. Some very happy faces there. Congratulations to the Kingdom of Morocco, who now has a new satellite. And our warmest congratulations to all the Mohammed 6B satellite teams, everybody in Morocco, the industrial consortium led by Talisalinia Space and Airbus. Well done, everybody.